for being with me this evening. Great to see you. You too, Michael. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. Now, let's talk about 48. Um, military guy. Wife went to some sort of police academy type place. Not a surprise the state wouldn't want him on the jury. Well, no, not a surprise. But I'll tell you what, you would, uh, if you're a defense lawyer, would definitely want this person on the jury. And the reason for that is, is because unusual to these types of cases, you have a police officer who's the defendant. And that juror, number 48, if you were to pigeonhole or stereotype that person, which some lawyers do, you would want him because you would see him as someone who would identify with your client, uh, the police officer. And you would have him, especially being a war vet, be somebody who does not like having whatever the decisions are made in combat criticized by people back here in the States. That's analogous to saying a police officer in the field while in the, performing his duties and making decisions should just be respected and whatever he decides goes and we should not stand here and criticize that person. So that's the kind of juror that uh, the defense wants. And if you notice by some of the questioning by the defense lawyer, he's actually trying to preserve that juror so that if someone tries to say he could not be fair, he now can say, well, I asked him that question. Can you follow the reasonable doubt rules? And can you follow the, you know, the burden of proof rules? And he said he could. Therefore, he's fair. And now we have to keep up. Those were all what you call pre-programming questions, which I think is uh, not a good idea. People know that's when they're being finessed like that. But I think that the defense wants to keep him. Yeah, you notice he didn't want to dig down on that guy the way he's digging no. down on someone. He said the magic words, all lives matter, Then he was, he was all fine with him, didn't dig any further. Let me give you a quick rundown of the jury. Three white males, one black male, one Hispanic male, one mixed-race female, one white female, all under the age of 30, except for, actually, in their 30s or 20s, except for the one white female. How are you feeling about that jury for this case so far? You know, um, again, if we stereotype we might get a little nervous based on the number of uh, white folks are on there, but that's not fair, man. I mean, white people are outraged over what they saw, what they heard, and what they've learned. Uh, they're disgusted. And also, you know, sometimes people uh, of, of color can also be um, tougher on uh, folks than they need to be. So to use race only as a way to pick this jury is a huge mistake. And people who don't study uh, jury selection and psychology with it, because it's very, very complicated, will make a lot of rookie mistakes. Also, gender. You can't just say, well, if you're female, you're going to feel this way. And if you're male, you're going to feel that way. That's not going to get it done either. And the age thing, that won't do it either. So I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. I agree with you. You're saying you're, you're preaching to the choir there. All right. What do you think about this trial? We want to hear from you when we come up next. We're going to hear your comments. So stay with